What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies, and we're checking out the newest aftermarket part available with the Week 3 Challenges. Complete five of them, and you unlock this new aftermarket part. However, this one is a little bit different than the ones we have been covering, and traditionally the ones we have been getting, because this one is just one of those attachments that you can put on a multiple amount of weapons, or a wide variety of weapons, I should say, that does improve our aim walking speed, our aim walking steadiness, improved movement speed which is why i wanted to check it out in zombies today but we do lose or obviously has some negatives toward aim aiming idle sway tax stance spread recoil control and gun recoil control now this is available on the mcw mtz m4 and amr9 platforms so you are able to use it on any of those however after attaching it on multiple different weapons however currently when i'm making this video you can't actually equip it on the mcw so after equipping it on a few different weapons i even tested the amr9 since it is an smg and this one did have the fastest movement speed with this attachment so i figured let's go ahead throw on the mtz 556 even though we have covered it recently and I'm just going to do a run with it like we traditionally do our runs just to see how it performs. Basically, with this attachment equipped, you are significantly faster or you can at least use an assault rifle more like an SMG as it could perform again a little bit faster with that movement speed. I think basically with this, it is as fast as the newest SMG, the Horus, without the Horus having any movement speed increased attachment. So that's pretty fast for the MTZ 556. I do think that is a vast improvement. I do need to go ahead and pop a few things. Brought some perks. I'm going to move through this a little quicker than we normally do. Probably. I'm going to do my normal run, though, just to kind of see how we do. Make sure it's not affecting our damage range or anything like that. Nah, we're doing all right. But I do feel like moving faster while aiming is a huge benefit. And four weapons. Obviously, movement speed is one of the most crucial things you can have. Oh, well, we're going to have to take out some zombies. We're going to run out of ammo here. Anybody drop me any? I think I got a little bit. Let's go. Yeah, I was more interested in just seeing how it would perform throughout a run. I don't think this is one of those attachments you should go out of your way to unlock because I think for most of the weapons, it's not going to be something you're really going to want to use. But you know what? Could be worth it. If you really are interested in having a faster MTZ build, you could potentially throw it on. And if you guys are interested in the attachments I'm running in today's video, as always, I will include those in the pinned comment down below. So go ahead and check there. And you guys will be able to run the exact same loadout I'm running in today's video. We actually make it through this. We're struggling. All right, we're good. Nice. Nice that guy to just ram into me when he could avoid hit me. All right, backup self-revive. Solid. I'm going to go ahead and throw on my rare tool, and then we'll just keep making magic happen. Now, although I will say it is pretty kind of underwhelming the way this aftermarket part works and how it is implemented in general compared to, like, other ones that we've had. I think the Jack BFP was pretty cool. I don't know if this is quite as cool as that. I will say, however, the negatives don't really impact this weapon all that much, so really you are just benefiting from the movement speed, which is kind of nice for a weapon like this, especially in zombies. Movement speed is kind of one of the more important things, especially once you make it into the high threat zone, and even the dark ether. I don't know if we're going to go in the dark ether in this one. I, I don't know. The one thing I will say that I don't like about going to the dark ether is every time you go there, it does count as an elimination. I know for some people that might not be a big deal, but I do kind of dislike the fact that we have our our stats and our combat record and things like that. Essentially, I should only ever have like 14 or 15 total eliminations, basically, from my deaths. And I have a significant amount more than that, like somewhere close to 60, because that's how many negative runs have counted against me that I necessarily didn't actually have be negative. All right, let's go ahead and pack a punch to level one. I remembered to hit our pack a punch machine when I was close to it. Should be able to knock this out pretty quick. Another thing I do want to mention through this video, if you guys are not already following me over on Twitch, at least over on Twitch, if you guys want to follow me on Kick, that would be awesome as well. However, I am planning to at least be streaming on Twitch. I might end up multi-streaming on both that and Kick at some point, but it would be twitch.tv slash Earl Shattered, just like we have here on the YouTube channel. If you guys are interested in checking me out over there when I want to, when I decide to stream, because I'm gonna actually start doing that, I've wanted to for a while. Basically, I think we might even make tomorrow the first day. We might just do a few hours over there on Twitch, just running some zombies games, talking to chat, having a good time. So if you guys actually want to be a part of that, make sure you guys are following the Twitch channel. If you guys turn notifications on, you can get the notifications whenever I do go live. Probably going to plan for like maybe somewhere between 3 and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or Pacific Time in the U.S. might not even be Standard Time currently. Well, this should be fun. Our first uh, Tier 2 bounty is a Disciple. I feel like, I'm going to be honest, I've been sprinting around with this weapon a little bit just to kind of see how we do. 
And, oh, look at this. Convoy. W. And this guy crashed into it. What a, what a predicament we find ourselves in. I think I'm going to get around it. Yep, I'm good. All right, and then I need to go over there. Oh, look at that. What was I I forgot what I was going to say now. We got distracted. So we're going to see what happens here. Oh, I was saying, running with your fists and running with this are very, very, very close to the same speed. I, I could hardly tell the difference. I mean, you probably have to look at, like, some sort of side-by-side -side comparison in order to really know. Yeah, that didn't really do that much damage. There's a lot of zombies here. We were able to move pretty quick, though. I probably should have brought a dead wire. Oh, right there. We'll use that. Normally, I don't use that, but we're going to use that. I mean, the idea isn't for us to really see how strong this weapon is this run. I could have technically skipped some parts of this, but kind of figured I would have some stuff to, stay, to say, and it gets a little bit harder to focus on what I'm saying and doing while I'm in the harder zone. So it's easier to kind of move our way through. Ooh, nice. We are looking pretty good. But yeah, I think, look at this. Let's see, we're running with our fists, right? Running with our fists, running with our fists. Obviously, it's going to be hard to see. Now, I'll swap to the weapon. I don't really feel like I'm that much slower. And I honestly, I wish we knew the default speed for fists. Because then we could actually tell if it's a significant difference or not. But I do know that this thing moves at 5.1 milliseconds. That's the movement speed. It's the same as the Horus, like I said before without any attachments being added for movement. All right, we're going to go ahead and pack a punch to level two. Where are we headed? Mangler this way. I probably would have skipped this aftermarket part altogether, but I figured some of you might actually be looking forward to me uploading this just because you want to see if it's actually worth, you know, getting the aftermarket part yourself, going through the trouble of doing the challenges. I would say, I mean, it depends on the weapon that you, that you would like to use. If anyone out there uses the MCW platform, maybe the MTZ 762, one of the other MTZ platform weapons, of course, an M4 or AMR9 weapon platform weapons with this attachment? Let us know down in the comment section below. I mean, again, I will say the only reason I didn't use the AMR9 is because it is an SMG. Typically, you're going to want to run it with the 50 or 100 round mag. And even with that and that new stock, it was going to be slower than this AR. So I kind of felt like this was the better option for this run. Although this thing is not proven to feel super strong right now for some reason. Not doing bad though. I don't have I don't have dead wire. Even though it kind of still works to a certain degree. Because of the aim assist. It just doesn't lock onto the crit spot. Kind of tries to go toward the center mass. That's what it is. It works. The good thing I will say about this attachment is it doesn't again suffer from any of the negatives. So really if you want just faster movement speed with your MTZ build, this might be a go-to option for that. I don't think the negatives are harmful enough for you to go, nah, this isn't really all that great. Could we have gone without this attachment? 100%. They could have done a, a weapon-altering attachment like they've done with most of the aftermarket parts, and that would have probably been a better option. But you know what? Could have been worse. Okay. I don't have that much ammo, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Like, I have very little ammo. Come on, zombie. I'm relying on you. I don't think we have enough bullets to take this guy out. In our current scenario. I mean, we haven't really had that many reasons to run like away from the zombies yet, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I think we're I think we're looking good. Oh, there's uh, at least one pack of ammo there. Did our dude just disappear? Nah, he's good. Thought he went under the ground or something again. Okay. Oh. Oh. We're good. We're good. All right. Yeah, we're looking great. Just just enough ammo. Oh, we actually got a little bit more ammo out of it, so it worked out. Boom. Yeah, like your your ability to move is pretty good. Like I can walk away from zombies at the same time. It's pretty sick. All right, we're good. Ryo free. He's that's such a lovely reward for a, a disciple tier two bounty. Appreciate it. All right, we're finally headed to the tier three zone. Now this is where the movement's going to be the most crucial. I mean, 
You're gonna need to move quick to get past all these zombies. We gotta get our pack punch level three. Over here, throw that one thing down. Go ahead and grab stamina up. Boom, boom. Now we have every perk. Look at us go. Now we're looking pretty good. Okay. Boom. Now part of the reason we don't want to be overpowered off the rip, although we could just pop a legendary tool, is because I kind of want to feel out how this movement works, and movement's only super beneficial, at least in my opinion, I mean, unless you're not getting slammed at all. It's only really beneficial when you're getting slammed by a ton of zombies. And if we can eliminate them slower, which we are going to be able to do with a blue tool, we'll have a little bit better idea on what our success is going to feel like. I, I just kind of want to get a good feel of this weapon as an SMG, because essentially that's the way we built it. I mean, it's built for ADS speed, it's built for, I mean, pretty much anything... Oh, wow, we have zero... Zero bounties. Oh, wait, no, I see one. Oh, wow, that guy got cooked. Yeah, but, like, running around, I don't feel slow at all. And I'm definitely not slow when I'm aiming and shooting, which is important. I'm running, I don't feel, like, insanely bogged down when I hit the reload button. I mean, things feel great. All right, we have a party. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that. Go ahead and grab this, hopefully. Go through the door. Oh my god, I went behind the freaking fence thing there. Go ahead and climb. Yeah, let's go. Okay. What do we get? We got a Mimic. This one is gonna be tough. I don't know if we're gonna run out of ammo trying to fight this thing, actually. This could be perfect for it, though. Because you need movement speed to fight a Mimic. You just need movement speed in general when you got this many zombies. This could be one of those builds, honestly, and one of these setups or weapons that you choose because of how good the movement speed is and how balanced the rest of it is. Like, it may not be the best damage out there, but it's going to be good enough to compete. And with the high, high movement speed, it could be a really good option. Woo, we're getting slammed out here. Okay, let me go ahead and reload. I get, I'm comfortable moving backwards at a good pace, too, and I'm trying to, you know, push my distance from the zombies there. All right, we're looking good. There's extra plates. We're going to pick them up. All right, well, that was crazy for a second there. Keep making our way. We're not out of ammo yet. That's good. Oh, there's a mangler just chilling here in this infested. All right, cooked. W. Figured I would take him out. If he's going to chase me, he's going to probably chase me all the way over here. Hard to say. It definitely feels insanely improved from your normal assault rifle. Because in order to have good movement, sometimes you have to take the stock off, and that's just not always a good option. But I think this is a nice balance for sure. Increasing that movement speed. But not making it insanely, I don't know, necessarily insanely bad. Because in most cases, that's what happens. All these hellhounds. Oh, what the hell? Things just hit the fan over here. What in the actual hell just happened? Okay, this is our guy. But we are going to have a problem here. There's too many zombies. Okay, I'm going to keep running. I might need to try to go back toward where he came from, which was this way. This is chaotic. Alright, get some plates back at least. Um, maybe I head up here. I'm not really worried about the disciple yet. Uh, as long as he doesn't take all my health. Yeah, we're good. Can't go across. Oh, oh, he almost hit me in there. That's crazy. We'd probably do more damage if we were closer, but he's not moving, so I'm going to take the advantage of it. 
For whatever reason, we just bugged him out. Rant oil. Is it because I'm on the spot? Does that unbug him at all? Oh, maybe it does, because that kind of unbugged the, uh... Oh, Disciple's almost cooked. Disciple's our friend. Oh, we're going to have to reload one more time. Reload at least is super fast. Sick. It's just sick. All right. W. What are we getting here? Ooh, Epic Tool, Deadshot, Daiquiri. Love to see it. A cluster mine. Don't care about that, though. We do not care about that. Oh, this is someone's bounty. It's like, what the hell? Dude's bounty. Is he shooting it with a, a jug? I don't know if I want to help him or not mess with him. I want to go down here and get full ammo, and then I might mess with this mega bomb. <laughs> the second I decide I want to fight the mega bomb, it's funny. All the hell. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so screwed here. I didn't want to fall there. And I threw it where they're all kind of on top of me here. Well, that was trash. Luckily, I had a backup. That was not supposed to happen. That is one of the times where you're like, Whoa, where's all the zombies at? Like, holy. Alright, we should be good. That was crazy. Alright, now I can go back to fighting my mega bomb. Yeah, I dropped down. I wasn't trying to jump over that. I was going to jump on top of it and then jump over. Did not work. That did not work. Turned out to be an epic failure on my end. Holy smokes. Alright. That works. Did not want to pull my chute. Was just trying to reload. That's fine though. No big deal. Could be worse. I think he actually will come down here. Oh, maybe he just gets stuck. Oh, no, he ain't stuck. Holy smokes. There we go. I was kind of hoping he would do that, but he wasn't doing it. Yep, there we go again. Perfect. Okay, we're looking good. I get all these crazy spots with these mega bombs. Keep shooting them. Might as well. The blue is just doing enough. It's doing enough. All right, we're cooking. Keep shooting. Boom. See you later, bud. Oh my god, we got a Wonder Waff in here. There's a reason I'm not going to pick this up. There's a reason why I'm not going to pick this up. Because I don't want to use it in this run. We're probably going to do a Wonder Waff only run very soon. And you'll see why uh, eventually. I'm not going to tell you the secret. There's a secret to why. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and go Legendary for the rest of this run here. Because we might as well. Kind of just see what this Tier 3 zone. How we can do against it. Our movement speed seems pretty good. Hopefully our boy, oh, I almost had a bullets, nice. Our boy the zombie here drops us some plates, nice, one plate, love it. Alright, got another plate, yes, W. Why is he just standing there? You doing it right there, buddy? Alright, you can just stand there, that's fine with me. I think he's like stuck. Yeah, okay. very interesting. Got another face down. Not really sure what's going on here. But we're going to take it, right? We're not going to be upset about it. 
Ooh, need both those. Plates, ammo. Okay, go ahead and reload. Hey, get out of my way, zombie. These zombies are really inconvenient with their timing. I'm like trying to put myself right up in his face. There we go. That's what we're talking about. I think we got another epic tool. Huge dub. Go ahead and reload. Trying to get trolled by all the mega bombs. Alright, well he had time to hit me, but he didn't have that much time. Okay. What is going on here? A bunch of random specials just spawn in. Okay, let's reload. Alright, we're looking pretty good. Give me some freaking plates now. I don't know why there was so much stuff. Is this because, is this someone's, no, it's just a mangler. He's just standing still too. What's going on here? Well, the only time we went down was not a, it's kind of just un, unfortunate. I wonder if we can, you know what I'm going to try? We're probably going to fail it, but you know what I'm going to try? I could try to do this guy. I could try to do the escort. Where's our buy station? Buy station's there. I could do the escort. What I might do, where's this guy? I'll grab the escort. I need to go hit a buy station real quick. Now, I know this is probably not as exciting as maybe us dropping an aftermarket part where you guys are way more excited to see me use it. Instead, I'm just using a freaking attachment on a weapon that we've already had, and it really isn't going to do a whole lot for the actual weapon. But you can see me fail this escort, because that's probably what's going to happen here. But I'm still going to try it. I'm still going to try it. I do need to make sure I don't stay on top of this the whole time, though, because I'm not going to be able to get ammo back. And that's going to be important. I don't... Yeah, I don't know what the heck gonna happen here i'm kind of thinking we're gonna fail this like od we're gonna fail this but i'm gonna try Come on, we're looking all right. Get on. This is so crazy. Hey. All right, we got rid of the disciple. We're already down to 50% though, there's no way. Dude, this has been crazy. Okay, we're gonna have to do the impossible here. I don't think we survived this, but... Okay, get rid of this disciple. I did. Got rid of the mangler, come on. Oh my god. Well, it's already gone way better than I thought, but we did get the... busted insta-kill to kind of help us out. I will say that. I do not have any more... Decoys, which were crucial to the process. Come on. I don't even have ammo. Oh, God. Uh. Well, I'm kind of screwed here. Yep. Unfortunate. I ran out of bullets. Everything was looking great till that happened. 
Uh, I need to find bullets. Okay, I need to make my way back up there and get some bullets. Well, I tried. We were we were looking great there until we ran out. Like, I literally can't even do anything. Can't defend myself. Oh, we got bullets right here. I could have ran backward, but it's so hard to get jump off and actually maintain getting any ammo. And holy smokes. When uh, the ACV is going to take so much damage. The hardest part is trying to protect it while still staying loaded up. We did our best, though. We did try. I will say, though, at no point have I felt like this weapon was too slow. I mean, even right there, I mean, we were successful in my mind. We might not have been successful for real because we, we let the ACV die, but we were doing way better than I thought we were going to, and that's huge. You see how many things were swiping me all at once? Dude, crazy. Just crazy. Where'd all you all come from? Dude, this freaking mega bomb will not slow down. Guess I'm getting back up on top of the old roof here. It's our favorite spot. There's a reason why, too. Watch. Watch how many zombies get up here. So silly. Okay, we'll take him out. Where are they at? They're all going to come this way? Okay, we're looking good. Reloads fast. We can get back in the zone. Start locking on the heads. Reload. All right. Like, how many zombies did we have built up? They all flying in the air. That's insane. All right, we're good. Nope, not good yet. Did our mega bomb stay? Is he still down there? I think he's just chilling. What in the hell is going on here? Dude, this is like an infinite spawn right now? This is crazy. All right, where's our guy at? Oh, there is a bunch down here. Oh, did he dis did he despawn? I think he did. He definitely despawned. That's unfortunate. Man, I just wanted to farm all the zombies. They had like a field chasing me. We were like round 50 over there. Just trying to just trying to make it work. Where are our extracts? All right, we got one over here. All right, I'll head this way, and if I see, hopefully, I'll see a mega bomb over here. I can, I can, I can fight it before we get out. Oh, let's go! I destroyed that harvester orb, and it gave me a legendary tool, and I can't even pick it up. Holy crap! Like I just want to drop something, can't even do it. There we go. I took out that, and that was definitely worth it. How'd I get a legendary tool out of that? We got two epic tools, a legendary tool. It was just a runabout vibes. We didn't get our extra Omega Abomination, which is unfortunate. And so we're going to go ahead and head over to our extract. I'm kind of disappointed in the run a little bit. Not because I feel like I didn't bring, you know, some entertainment to the table. But more importantly, just because this attachment was a little bit more lackluster than many of the others we've had. But I felt like I wouldn't really be doing us any service by not checking it out. I do feel like, though, it is a great attachment in addition to the MTZ-556. It'll probably be great attachment on some of the other ones as well to help increase that movement speed. Because in reality, that's one of the main, I think, stats that you want to go for in zombies. That way you actually can kind of run away from the zombies and keep yourself alive. All right, I did make it over to my Xville here. Now, I would say you shouldn't go out of your way to hurry up and unlock this attachment unless you're just trying to use maybe the MTZ, MCW, things like that with this faster attachment. But outside of that, it isn't something you really have to get. That's going to wrap things up for us here. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace!